almost every industry and many homes use ladders. Each year, thousands of people are injured by falling off ladders. So right now, let's begin a review of the safe way to use ladders. It's more than just climbing on a ladder and exercising caution. It begins when you first select your ladder. In offices, small step stools are used to reach high places, but these are not considered ladders. They are step stools, and they can be dangerous also. On step stools, be sure they are in good condition and do not have slippery surfaces. Never stand on a chair or other makeshift step stool. Always use the proper device for the job. The next category and one that causes the most injuries are step ladders. One simple mistake can cause a serious injury. The very first safety rule when using step ladders is to inspect the ladder. Check the steps to make sure they are not slippery. Quite often, grease, oil, solvents, and other materials can be left on the rungs or sides of the ladder and can cause you to slip and fall. Inspect the ladder. All wood parts should be free from sharp edges and splinters. Wooden parts must be physically sound and free from compression failures, decay, or other irregularities. Low-density wood should not be used on wooden step ladders. The metal spreader or locking device of sufficient size and strength to securely hold the front and back section in open positions shall be a component of each step ladder. The spreader shall have all sharp points covered or removed to protect the user. Basically what we're saying is the ladder must be in good condition and maintained in that condition or it cannot be used. Naturally, good footing is important when placing ladders. Never place ladders on boxes, barrels, or other unstable bases to obtain additional height. Make sure the ladder is tall enough to do the job because you can't step on the top two steps of any step ladder. Basically, step ladders are designed to be used at the center of gravity. And if you stand on the top two steps of any step ladder, your weight is past the center of gravity and can easily tip over the step ladder. Another good rule to remember is the belt buckle rule, and this also reflects upon the ladder's center of gravity. You should keep the center of your body within the inside rails of the ladder. If you lean out past the side rails, the center of gravity of your body and the step ladder can cause the ladder to fall to one side. That's why it's called the belt buckle rule. If you must use materials or tools, hoist them up with a rope or other device. You need both hands when climbing up or down a ladder. Of course, when using step ladders, don't place them near doors because an opening door could create an accident. While we're on the subject of step ladders, let's talk about metal step ladders. All the same rules apply to metal ladders as with wooden ladders. However, let's add one more rule. Never use a metal or aluminum ladder when working with electricity. That means even when you're changing a light bulb. The metal or aluminum ladder could easily contact an energized electrical wire and serve as an excellent conductor of electricity, and you can imagine the result. Don't use metal or aluminum ladders near electricity. When using straight ladders, there are several important safety tips to consider. All ladders must be inspected before use. They must be free of dirt, grease, or slippery materials. When placing a straight ladder on a working surface, use the four to one rule. For every four feet of length of the ladder, it should be placed one foot from the vertical surface on which you rest the ladder. What this means is that when setting up a straight ladder at the proper angle, you place the base a distance from the vertical wall equal to one fourth the working length of the ladder. As you can see, a 12 foot ladder would be placed three feet from the vertical wall. This provides rigid support and keeps the ladder within its design center of gravity. Never use any ladder in a horizontal position as runway or as scaffolds. Okay, the next rule on straight ladders is when you're gaining access to a roof or landing. Make sure the ladder extends past any landing or roof at least three feet. This provides you with hand support when getting on or off the roof. It is highly recommended that ladders be tied off in some manner to prevent it from slipping from side to side. There are many other types of ladders and climbing devices, such as rolling scaffolds, stationary scaffolds. But the greatest number of injuries come from everyday step ladders and straight ladders used in industry and in the home. In many retail organizations, they use platform type ladders with rolling wheels. When a person's weight is applied to the platform, the ladder pushes down and is stabilized by metal feet. Inspecting the wheels and the device that stabilizes the ladder would be an important consideration in the safety of platform ladders. 
making sure the ladder's steps were completely clean and free of grease or other slippery surfaces is another important part of ladder safety for platform ladders. Using the handrails when walking up or down the ladder. On platform ladders, some organizations allow the carrying of material or merchandise on platform ladders, but the sensible thing to do is not carry anything that is awkward or too heavy. Overextending the ladder is going past the center of gravity. Standing on the rails to get extra height is unsafe. Regardless of the type of ladder you use, there is a safe method of using the ladder. Be sure you know and understand the rules, then use your good judgment in following these rules. There's nothing secret about safety, nothing exotic or mysterious, just plain common sense. Safety rules and procedures are nothing more than experience. When you use a step stool, step ladder, straight ladder, platform ladder, scaffold, or any type of equipment, think about the potential hazard, then use your good judgment to reduce your risk. Take the time for safety because you're worth it. There isn't any job you can't perform safely if you just follow the rules. If it can't be done safely, you shouldn't do it. Thank you.